XSW. Anyways, um, yes, Wembley was, it was wild. It was so you guys big, at that man. moment feel like, wow, we are the biggest band in the world. Even if it's just for that moment. I, I don't know, really It's hard to have like that, that mentality you know? being it, it, the band. But when you're, you know, it, people's um, perception is so different than what it is, you know, because I remember being a kid and going to see, you know, I remember the first concert I ever saw was Queen. Mm-hmm. And I remember, you know, you look at them like they're freaking superheroes, you know? I mean, they were to me. They were like mm-hmm. superheroes. They were unhuman, you know? They were like, you like wonder, you know, do they even go crap or, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, have a sore throat or, you know, like, uh, <laughs> or, or, or anything, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They seem, you know, so I mean, and I think a lot of people, you know, you play Wembley's, you must be up there just feeling so proud of yourself and wow, we are the best and all that, but no, I mean, really, you're just nervous and worried that you're not doing, you know, I feel more of a sense of responsibility when we do a show like that, when we're like, okay, then we sold out 87,000 people a night, and you're like, oh my God, we gotta, we gotta make this whole stadium rock yeah and thank god we have dave who's a great front man and a mm-hmm. great communicator and he's gotten so terrific at it you know and and um and because it's really down to him at that point i mean it's down to us to play the songs decently. right to not let your nerves get the better yeah, of yeah yeah and they i'm sure they do and sometimes but but mm-hmm. then it really it does come down to him to communicate it to an audience like that so huh. no it's not really a sense of like wow we aren't we terrific it's more a sense of almost not fun until after the fact you know yeah then you can look big, back yeah and then you look back and you go wow we did that and and that's when you look back and you go wow we we really did do something far exceeding anything that we thought we yeah, would, would have ever thought ever did. yeah i, I mean, mean who would have thought any band. The, for any man but i mean you know i don't know yeah it's, it's, it's funny that you mentioned it's queen strange, and you yeah. know you guys have collaborated with uh, brian may in the past yeah, and then stuff like that. obviously just recently you guys got the the jam with the boys in zeppelin or the yeah, men in zeppelin yeah, yeah i yeah. mean it's just gotta be just like can you step away from it all and just think well, holy shit, i don't crap, really, you know i don't really to no, be honest just I keep going really forward step away, away from it i don't really think of it like i, I don't mm-hmm. you know i just just move forward it's just my job Mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds strange, but it really is my job. I don't see it as anything. I don't like, <laughs> yay, I get to do that. You know, and, it, and I enjoy it a lot. I really do. I enjoy my job because I love me. I love music. I love playing music. I love making music. But really, it just, I just, I just, it's just my, like my, I have a job to do with this band, and that is to be the drummer. Mm-hmm. So I have to take care of that responsibility. Mm-hmm. And everybody's got to take care of their responsibilities, and then you move on to the next show, and the next show, and the next show. So doing things and, but like- I think it's one of those things you look back on later. Yeah. You know, and we'll have all the DVDs. I was going to say, thank God for the, 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 the world of video, and, yeah, and you can look and back on that anything. stuff, and you know, I'll show my kids. They remember Moen's kind someday, of thing. Yeah. yeah, someday, and I have a child now, and it'll be fun to show him when I'm like 55, well, mm-hmm. you know, or 60, and you know what I did, right? You're in, you old bastard. So then it's doing, because it, in the way you view it, it's a job, obviously, because you're doing it day in, day out. Then it's yeah. doing like the, the, the side projects where, it's you know, job, that, but like it's, more it's like, a passion as well. Obvi- so yeah. luckily, you know, my job and it is passion nice when you can do both. to be one thing, obviously. And that's but great. Doing like the side projects, is that more just, just, just to be able to just be like, you know, just I, have you know, fun and, or I, just, I say just it's busy. a job, but it's also a passion, like I said. So when I'm not doing, I'm pretty busy now when I get home because I have a child and mm-hmm. all that stuff and I have a pretty busy family life. But, um, you know, we're going to take a, a nice long break this time after this, after this tour, really. And we've got a couple little one-off shows here and there and after that we're really we need to take a break Mm -hmm. we need to get away from this band for a a good a good chunk of time Mm -hmm. just to refuel and and you know and re-realize everything and dave needs to go away and go play drums with you know (laughs) queens of the stone age or whatever (laughs) he's gonna do you know and i need to go do another coattail riders record and Mm -hmm. go around on my other friends records and stuff and everybody else needs to go do some stuff and 
And, I, and we will, and I will do that because that's what I like to do, really. I mean, I don't... Well, it's yeah. awesome that you're afforded that opportunity. Exactly. I mean, yeah, you no, can't get much better than that. No, it really is great. I mean, we're, mm-hmm. we are so blessed. And, I, you know, I feel bad when I say it's a job because that makes it sound as if it's something that... Uh, it's like I feel like I have to do it and I don't want to do it. I love doing it, but you know. Like, I get it because even just doing the radio thing, you know, yeah. every morning I got to get up at 3.30 and it sucks. Yeah, and it's, and it's, but, I mean, once I'm up, you, I, I couldn't ask for a better yeah, thing to do. I get to just BS it. for my buddies for yeah. a few hours and, I mean, yeah, it's a job, but obviously, you know, the reason why you're willing to put so much time and effort and energy into right. that is because you love what you do. Yeah. We're not working at McDonald's. No, yeah. far from it. Well, you know, <laughs> and, you know. You get to eat brownies for free and all that fun yeah, stuff. There's yeah. A, yeah, you know, I probably paid for that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, crap, man, I don't want to keep all your time. Your time. I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk, and uh, thanks for the advice. Actually, that was made the day so much better. All right, good. And, uh, good. and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tonight. All right. Hit the hammer, big dog. Yeah. All right, man. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW. Hey, hey, this, hey this is Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters. And uh, it's now time. And uh, Double R is going to flounder something for you right now. And uh, what does he say? Unbelievable. I wonder, are, are you kidding me? God, what are those catchphrases? Are you... Uh, I almost just said one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who made these promises?